Uh, BBD Ted, I'm from Columbia, Georgia, man. What up, Big Don? They call me conscious. I'm from uh, Columbus. How the music scene out there? <laughs> I mean, we 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 get something going. You feel me? A couple people done made it out, but you know how that go. Yeah. Everybody just work, trying to get them some money. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the artists out there, bro. For yeah, real, shout real. out. Rudy, Bucket, Wap. Tay, Wap. Yeah, yeah. Shit, all y'all folks. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Yeah, yeah. So I love y'all, boy. We'll make it up. How y'all get into music? Like, how y'all get into making music? For real, for real, I ain't even a rapper. Like, I just did a song with my home by what time. And we dropped it like, like three years ago, maybe. And shit, people were fucking with it, so. I just started rapping ever since. Like, I just found myself finding this as a hobby for me. I just kept going. Shit, me on the other hand, I, um, I started off um, producing more than anything. I started producing as JIT for real, for real. And um, I started getting into rapping more and more. I went up to New York with my folks because I was um, in between both for real, for real coming up. So um, I spend more time rapping up in New York, spend more time producing and working on shit down here for real, for real. So. Started putting the two together, and now it's just all about bringing that art back for real, for real. At the end of the day, what makes y'all? Because I know this field is not something where you can start doing it and automatically you get rich. You know what I'm saying? This is a hard field to be in. What makes y'all keep going with this shit, even though you may you run into a roadblock or you know shit ain't easy? So what what keeps you going? Shit. The journey, like I'm just the type not to never give up. So like. Whatever journey I got to go through to get to where I want to go to, for me and my family, then I'm just going to do it, Shit. no matter what. Same with me, the journey, him, you know, hard work pays off for the most part, you feel me? Just dedication, bro, that's all this shit takes, just dedication, mm -hmm. keep, keep your mind on it, I'd say. Shit, just locking in on shit, bro, you got to know what matters to you, for real, for real. Can't just look for money as soon as you do it, you're going to spend more. The first few years than you ever make off of it. I don't, we don't made some, but shit, we, we still ain't got <laughs> we ain't got that what we spent yet. Yeah. So just dedication to that shit for real, for real, man. Yeah. My boy definitely keep me going though for shit show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So speaking of the journey or the process, what what's the goal? What, what's y'all goal with? What y'all trying to get? To? I wouldn't say like I'm trying to be the best at this thing. Like, of course I work on my craft and all that, but. I just want to be, you no know, living, just how we want to live, my family want to live, yeah. without worry about these white folk, like, <laughs> for real, that, see, it's just the white folk for me, like, facts. we do whatever we want to do, whenever we want to do it. Shout out to white fans, though, we love y'all. Oh, yeah, we love everybody. <laughs> we man. love y'all. It's just the one, like, <laughs> we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, personally, uh, I just want to use it just to get my foot in the door with the platform first, you know, it's other means of money out here other ways of getting this shit but this is you know the first key to getting money is find what you best at find what you love and sell that shit and this is what i'm godly at this is what i like to do and i do well at selling that shit so yeah that's the main thing for shit so you know just keep building keep elevating you know and sometimes don't forget you know you gotta destroy before you build up type shit but you know just keep elevating with this shit just Financial freedom, man. You feel me? That's the key word, bro. Y'all lead this interview with financial freedom in y'all head, bro. Have fun with it, like I said. On me. If you ain't gonna have no fun, ain't no point in doing it. Oh, God. So I just find it fun, like. Sure. Keep pushing. Real shit. Hell yeah. So being being black, man, you know, we go through the most shit, in my opinion, of any race. You know what I'm saying? Being Hell yeah. Profile, you know, hey. it's hard being black, you feel me? So what? Personal life challenges have you been through that you feel like have molded y'all and made and made your music have that character? Cause you know if you don't go through shit, your music yeah, don't yeah. shit because you ain't been through no setbacks or no yeah. troubling times. So right. what personal life problems have y'all had that kind of you feel like help to you know shit. Get that experience? I mean, just life. Like I'm just not a talker. I can't come to you and tell you how I'm feeling. Uh, Anything. So with me finding this being a hobby shit, I just write down how I feel. Like doing it this way ain't nobody can't nobody judge you. Like they can judge you, but at the same time it's better to rap about it and it just come to you and say, Oh, so and so like yeah. I'd rather just sit down and make me some crafty and have fun with it. Like yeah, fuck for real, for real. <laughs> but shit. Real. Really, I say I ain't gonna speak about too much on cam, but 
Just certain shit with life, bro. Ups and downs. Like you said, you know, everybody know what come with being a black man in America. Yeah, Be the predator right. and the prey. You feel me? So, real shit. Just locking in on shit. Speaking through this shit like he said. Shit, I feel like he speak with me. I mean, he speak for me sometimes. Excuse me. You know, I speak through him. He speak through. We speak through each other, bro. The whole team, for real, for real. Even the ones that's not on camera. So. Yeah, we got up. Yeah, yeah. Just speaking through each other, living through each other, bro, and being able to relate and understand each other's stories. Like that shit comes into play. It's just a, it's a lot of shit. If you know, you know. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> I mean. So let's get to this music. Let's talk about music projects, singles. You know, whatever y'all got going on. You had a song that that got some traction. Mm -hmm. You know, in your city, in your state. Oh yeah, that uh, fur day out. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. Like your recording process with that and. What, what it did so far? I mean, it's, I try not to pay attention to what it's doing. Like, I just drop to let people hear how it is. They just gonna judge it out that. But as far as me coming to record and all that shit, I had to check it out. Like, and my boy Trey put me on. He said, said, do you some music? Jay sent me a beat and said, whatever I was thinking that night, I just finished it. And like, Did you think it was gonna go shit. like that when you heard it? Nah, because even when I heard it, like, I wasn't even liking it like that, but you know, you can't not like your music. And you just gotta let other people do it for you. So shit, go with that route. Gotcha. Be cool. Yeah. So what projects you, so far out of all the projects you did, I know you got a long catalog. So <laughs> yeah. And, and like out of everything you've done, what do you feel like was your most successful track or, or project? Shit. Really? Um, now you talking about on the rap side or the producing side of it? Like, oh, give me one of both. Producing side, I definitely say that first day out. That's that's a plaque to me. That's gonna be one of my babies for sure, no matter how far this shit go. You feel me? But this shit just first day out was different. First day out gave me a different perspective on being behind the boards and shit. Cause you know, like I said, producing always been my main thing, and it's always been something I've been top notch at. So first day out just took that shit over the top. Don't change the sound, and if y'all can only hear the shit we ain't put out yet, you feel me? Then ask for the rap side. Shit, I don't, I don't know which one I would say is the biggest, but I would say my favorite one personally would be um, if it's out, I say coming down to soul food, and I love, uh, I love used to uh, the idea of my brother Prince Trey. Um, really, just every, every song is different for real, for real. They all got different meanings, and I can go back to some songs from years ago that I made. They still hold weight. They sound like I spoke some shit into existence, fortunately uh -huh. and unfortunately. But you know, shit happens, and you know, you know. I say coming down though. That's probably my favorite, most recent song. Still, shit still gas. Yeah. Shout out Tito, hear me too, bro. Oh yeah, Tito. So what's um? Tell me what what's next? What y'all working on? Like what you know? What y'all doing right now? Just trying to put out more content. Like that's all we can do for right now. But you know, make a move behind the door, close doors, and see we, you know, still work, still work every day. Mm -hmm. Shit don't stop. Like you said, working, uh, always being a student of the game and learning and shit. Uh, me personally, I'm working on a few projects. I'm working on, um, I ain't gonna leak too much info, but um, be definitely working on his for shit. So for everybody wondering, oh, uh, for my folks, uh, yeah, I got y'all projects with the S coming next year. Uh, some different shit, some unexpected shit, but y'all gonna like it. I'm pretty yeah. sure y'all will. Y'all gonna love it, matter of fact. So yeah, we working on a lot of shit, man, for real, for real. So shit. So what do you feel like if if someone had not heard your music, what sets your music apart, or what what would make people want to listen to your music over other artists? Tell me what you know, like what sets you apart. For one, like, and ain't nothing against nobody, but at the same time, everybody doing the same music, like either drill or killing somebody or robbing. <laughs> Shit, if I ain't been through it, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah. But with me saying like how I went through it, like I feel like other people that went through it the same way. Even if you was in the street, you went in the street. Like you still gonna feel the same way about it. So I just, hey, you either gonna get it or you ain't. Just keep working. Yeah. As for me, I feel like um, really what sets my mind as a part is I don't spend, you know hours on the song punching in. I spent hours literally just trying to make sure I get the beat done and shit. You feel me? Like yeah. time, dedication, putting soul into this shit, making sure this shit got meaning. 
talking to my boy through this shit, making sure he put 100% of this up here into it and shit. You know, that's all that matter for real. And yeah. that's what's going to set us apart is just the time, the dedication, the different, the creativity, the soul in it, everything, bro. You feel me? Especially that creativity. That's what's going to bring it out in the end for real, bro. Yeah, that's the thing, because we ain't trying to be like nobody else. Like Everybody, not everybody sound like, but everybody sound like, like. Yeah. It, it just, something got to change, and that's it. Gotta be killing 20 nigga back to back to back, like, that shit lying, like. He just lying. Yes. I can just fat. tell the truth how I feel, and shit. Just keep it pushing. Hell yeah. yeah. So tell me about, I heard you had a um, legendary producer to interact with you on social media on, on one of your posts. Oh yeah, Drummer Boy. Shout out Drummer Boy, man. Shout out Drummer Boy. Really appreciate that, like, I see it. With me not doing music, like it's a lot of things I don't know about music. But with me being in it, he last couple of years, shit, anything is appreciated. Like I came from nothing, you ain't have to notice me. But what you just saying, just a little that, and hey, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Like somebody noticed me, even if it ain't my family. Like somebody outside of noticed me, shit. I'm mm -hmm. good with that. Right. Okay, how many views it is? I'm just putting out what I can put out. Yeah, drama a legend, man. I can't lie. I uh, came up listening to drama, Sunny Digital, uh, Zay, uh, Metro, Old Sizzle, Lex. You know, and just getting that yeah. cold sign from drama first. You know, that's that's big. Big that's shout big, out to drama boy, man. I love my boy. Real shit. Real. Hopefully, I get to work with him. I'm ready to work with him too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All of that. We waiting. We waiting, drama. No lie. <laughs> we no lie. waiting. Tell these folks how they can tune in, you know, social media information, uh, how they can find your music, all that. See, I got everything. Facebook is The Real Tez, T-H-A, Real Tez. Uh, Instagram is BBG Tez, Snapchat, Punch O' World. You know, y'all add me. I add back. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is Conscious, uh, C-O-N-S-X-I-O-U-S. That's X as an S-ray after that first um, S. Um, Snapchat is um, Life is Dying Matic. Shout out to all the Dons out there. <laughs> uh, the what else? Uh, Facebook. Um, Facebook will be on the conscious and shit. That's about it for us. for what you'll find for me. Right. Or you can hit the email, get up with my manager. Right. <laughs> right. Whatever you want to work out, we can work it out. Right. Yeah.